Maybe it's because of the feng shui, or it might be because of the color palette, but one thing's for sure, we have found our new home. And on top of that, we have ourselves around three full sacks of potatoes. So today is gonna be a self-improvement day. As Bartholomew is gonna try to lose weight, try to kick this smoking habit, and really, I just want to improve my quality of life. I have no idea how that's gonna go, by the way, because we still are a nervous wreck and we've read almost all of the books. But in order to start off our big journey, we need to do a few things. And that's grabbing all of the stuff at my old house, transferring it over, and finally barricading the place maybe, and looting one last shed that I forgot to last time, right over here. There might be some good stuff, but we'll get to that in a bit. For now, it's time to move on over to the new house. Dropping off the potatoes, grabbing the VHS tapes, the magazines and books, the tools and food, the water, finally grabbing the van and moving it over towards my new home. Maybe I'll keep it outside because of how much space it takes though. Boom! Okay, cool. Now we need to find spots for all of it. Which should be pretty easy, and I will see you then. Alrighty, I just got done organizing my new house. Anyways, everyone, welcome home. Inside the fridge, we have a lot more food, but we are running out of beer, which really isn't too much of a problem, now that we have a house we can actually sleep at. On the other side, we have a full container of water. And walking into the living room, we have all of our electronics magazines, our books, our, our other magazines, VHS tapes. And finally, in the garage, we have our gardening supplies, our fishing supplies, and our tools right inside here. So yeah, we have quite a bit to our name. I'm pretty happy with how far we've gotten. And now that we have organized our inventory, we can finally eat some good potato stir-fry. Because what's better than grabbing two full potatoes, slapping them inside a frying pan, and eating them raw? It's a Bartholomew classic that will surely erase our depression. Matter of fact, we're gonna have a second little bit here. Yeah, let's grab this potato and turn it into that. Minus 13 hunger, minus 5 thirst, and minus 5 unhappiness. Boom. Now that we've eaten that, I will finish today off with a single beer to get rid of my depression, finally giving me the ability to sleep for the rest of the day. I will see all of you tomorrow. On day 17, and I have to say this is the smallest amount of Moodles I've seen on Bartholomew in a while, as we are only moderately exerted and agitated. It feels pretty damn good, man. I... I'm pretty happy with how far we've gotten. I mean, there's still a long ways to go, but this is a very good start. And in order to start off our morning right, we're gonna be doing a little bit of looting, and then I have decided we really need to barricade the place. Because it just clocked internally that Bartholomew slept, or I slept, inside a very open living room with one window smashed and the others just completely open for everyone to see out of. Thankfully, we do have all of the supplies to make that happen. So yeah, we have a big day, and aside from that, I think we're gonna be doing a little bit of working out and just a lot of rotting until I no longer am a smoker, which will lead to me finally developing the skills to beat my claustrophobia and agoraphobia. So yeah, let's go check out that fishing cabin, which should be somewhere in this direction here. Alrighty, here we are, Ben's cabin. Hopefully Ben here has a lot of good stuff for Bartholomew, as it was quite the bit of a trek. And by trek, I mean I walked probably like 20 feet to get here. Anyways, the window's not locked, or it is locked, so we're gonna open it. Nice. What do we got inside now? We have a dish towel, a tent kit, which is pretty awesome, fishing volume two, a magazine, a very nice wood stove, which I can pick up right now. I don't really need it, though, because I already have the fireplace. We also have fishing line, another fishing net trap with a fishing rod, more magazines, an empty jar, and finally, a comic book. That's a really huge find. Exactly what Bartholomew needs. All right, though, that's gonna be everything here. So now, we head home. 
finally getting ready to barricade this place. Now I will say this, I'm not going to be going overboard with the barricading, as I only want two planks on each window, and there's a very good reason for that, right? If I go more than two planks on a single window, I won't be able to see anything at all. And as much as it would be helpful in a safety way, not having any natural light inside this house would get depressing. So yeah, we're gonna slap two boards on each side of the window going around the entire place. And the way we do that is by chopping down trees, processing the trees with our saw, and finally plopping them on the window. Now I will say, we are gonna need a lot of trees. Thankfully, we did pick up one log on our foraging trip, so I can showcase exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab our saw, we're gonna open a box of nails, and all of these chipped stones, making one stone knife, and two stone axes so I can chop down trees, get logs, sawing them up, and finally barricading the outside of these homes. Yeah, that's gonna be our big goal. So I wish Bartholomew luck on his carpentry adventure. Also, you can see why I wanted two planks instead of uh, any more, because I can actually peek through and sunlight still gets through. Okay, we have probably like six more windows to do, so we need to get moving right now. Nice. Now things feel a little bit safer. Also, these stone axes that Bartholomew has been using have been very good, because even with half condition with that stone axe, we were able to chop down about five small trees, giving me a whole bunch of branches for later. But yeah, it's about 5 p.m. I don't think we're going to be doing anything else that's too crazy, so I'm just going to rest inside, and as soon as we wake up, we can begin the next little bit which is going to be reading and a whole lot of exercise. Because as it stands right now, Bartholomew is still pretty pathetic. I mean, we are definitely better than we were before, but we only have three strength and two fitness, and I still want to lose the weight. So spending a lot of time sitting indoors and working out in between rest sessions Sounds like the best way to go through all of these potatoes. In the middle of that though, when my character is, you know, ridiculously tired and exhausted, because I want to be sleeping at 12pm every time in order to fix my sleeping schedule, we can read books in the meantime, giving me a passive XP multiplier. So really my entire day is gonna look like uh, me working out, me sitting on the couch, me drinking alcohol maybe to reduce my happiness, cooking up a couple of potato stir-fries, and finally reading books until it becomes 12 p.m. It's gonna be pretty boring, but I really want to make the most out of these potatoes, and that's the best way I know how. So either A, I survive long enough for these potatoes to go rotten, or B, we eat them all. So now begins Bart's training montage. Wish me luck. Yo, free golf club, what the heck? That's pretty cool.
Alrighty everyone, Bartholomew has went on a bit of a training arc, and if you're wondering if we're a level 100 boss already, I can just flat out say no. We are still terrible, we are still trying our best, but we have eaten every single potato and we have made it all the way to day 24. We're still obese, but we are losing weight slowly and surely. We are still dealing with depression, boredom, and anxiety. Because somehow, someway, our guy is still a smoker, so we do need to work on things for quite the while longer. Though I did figure out one life hack to prevent myself from getting too tired. But before I do that, I want to push out some push-ups and burpees so I can slowly build up my strength even more. It's really the only thing we have. So we'll go bump out, I would say, 20 minutes of burpees? Just like that. Bada boom, resting up one more time, and getting one more set in. Like that, boom. So yeah, we have survived for probably a full week off those potatoes. We are getting very close to fitness level 3, and we're about a third to strength level 4, so it's pretty damn useful. The rest of our skills are pretty lackluster, but what are you gonna do about that, right? Anyways, in very cool news, I can show you my new garden after I go grab some food, in which I'll have some sardines. But yeah, we did a little bit of gardening as well, as you see from the worms, the garden hoe, and the tomato seeds. Also, we've survived for so long that our fedora actually broke. It's worn down completely, there's nothing I can do about it, and I think that's a pretty cool character trait. So yeah, it's been raining a whole bunch, speaking about rain, I'm actually gonna head back inside really quick and grab the garden hoe. Anyways, all I've been doing is just digging out new furrows whenever a storm happens and slowly adding to our massive farm. I'm very much relying on all of the rainwater to do the trick, but I am spacing them out enough to where I would be able to water them very easily should I need to. Anyways, we are going to be planting the last of our seeds, which is it. We have a pretty big garden, and I will say, if you look in the back, we got ourselves some flourishing plants. So let's go walk over really quick before I get too stressed out, and we can go check them out. So yeah, we've been sitting on some young tomatoes. They are not fully prepared, but these carrots down here are, in which they are ready to be harvested. Though I am waiting a little bit longer, because if we wait a bit, we can actually get seeds, right? And that's really the big thing I've been waiting for. But yeah, with these carrots, we will get another harvest, which means I can continue this lifestyle for a little bit longer. For now, we need to eat our non-perishable stuff. Aside from that, though, we haven't really done much else. I mean, we've been walking from point A to point B, doing some foraging, doing a little bit of fishing, but it's been pretty boring, and we still have no real show for it. So I think for the rest of the day, and for the rest of this episode, I'm going to do a little bit of carpentry to get our level all the way to level 2. So yeah, after we're done with that, we can go to sleep, rot inside, and wake up another day. There we are, we've completely picked this place apart. There are some leftover nails and supplies on the floor should I ever need them, but right now we really don't. It was just a very good exercise, as we have gotten Bart to level 2 carpentry. Man, it's gonna take a lot more to get this guy up to snuff than I thought. <laughs> this might have to become a hundred day debacle in order for him to, you know, really get to his full potential. As almost an entire month has passed and we are still obese. But hopefully we are reaching the end of our claustrophobia, our agoraphobia, and our smoking because that's the main thing that's really limiting me. Other than one more thing in which I have been trying to keep my utmost attention on, and that is us being a sleepyhead and a restless sleeper, right? Those two perks are absolutely killing our productivity because it means I get tired very quickly, and when I'm tired, I get exhausted quicker. So yeah, those are really killing me. So I'm hoping by, you know, continuing this entire trend, we can avoid that. So I think next episode is gonna be another big day like this where I just harvest food and rot in the corner, in the hopes 
that we do get rid of it. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but Bart needs to try his hardest. Anyways, I am going to end the episode here. We've done quite a bit. Even if it's not shown properly, we are setting the tools for Bart to have a very good life. It just takes a lot of work. And that's all we're gonna be doing for a while longer after. Anyways, if you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I will see all of you next time when Bart finally harvests his first set of crops. It's a pretty exciting day, and I'm all for it. I will see all of you later. Peace the hell out, everyone.